I was a fan first, you know. I went from being pretty much a big fan to want to be a rapper. I rap. I used to freestyle a lot, you know, and and I kept bumping heads with my producers. And I'm telling them, well, make the beat like this, you know, put this in the beat, take that out the beat. I could hear this piece of this record being played with this, and I was thinking of producing. Mm -hmm. Then I start. I just started playing acapella and trying to see if I can mix another beat on top of it. Just doing remixes at home, you know, not knowing what I was doing, but just trying it. And it was crazy, I was a DJ. I, had to, I started going by a DJ title, but didn't nobody know uh, as far as who I was or what I was. I kind of came out, out of nowhere. You know, one thing I gotta give us, you know what I'm saying, props on, I think the definition of DJ is our swag is just, it ain't no other DJ crew, you know what I'm saying? We got our own swag, we got our own lingo. I mean, the All-Star game is around the corner. The Super Bowl is down the street, you know what I'm saying? So, turn it up to 10. Being on the business end is really not what I like personally. It's more of what I think the crowd are like. It's kind of like I play psychic, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like when you go to the doctor, you tell him your symptoms and he try to figure out, you know, what's wrong and, you know, keep it moving like that. You got to be able to look at a person for less than two seconds or look at a crowd for less than two seconds and decide, hey, they like this or they don't. I love how they got here, you know what I'm talking about? And I let my whole crew know right now. That's the raw footage, man. Because I'm telling you right now, I'm gonna let you know right now, ain't nobody touching me, and if you think you can touch me, come get you some. And that's what that is. Ooh. What's up with it? DJ K Rock, definition DJs. Loving myself right now, loving my crew, but I think my boys are scared. <laughs> Don't think it's just the week of the All Star game, the week of the Super Bowl. People, it's people actually moving to Dallas to be here for the next three or four years to see what's popping, get some of this money. Like, it needs to be more initiative from a lot of cats. I'm seeing some people, since they became a part of this organization, it's like, I didn't made it. When the Super Bowl rings come, I'm gonna get one. Man, that might not necessarily be true. You know? This is our livelihood, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to carry no dead weight. Some people say music change every six weeks, you know what I'm saying? If you ask me, I mean, it just depends on how much good music you keep. You can't get tired of something that you like. All right, I know during the last time we had the top five, I think was, it was Home Girl, Flex. Flex, Home Girl, Five Star, bitch. Five Star, Hit That Ho. Six months from now, it's going to be probably five to 10 guys that y'all hearing about that you ain't never heard about. The city just keep breeding artists after artists. Like walk with a dip. And flow, that shit is still, that's in my top five. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's still hot. Uh, pretty much what we do here is DJs collectively, we speak on music that's hot. We listen to new music or we bring to the table music that we feel is hot. We speak on people who came through the meeting and we listen to their music. And some guys tested it out for the last two weeks. So we want to kind of find out like how to, yeah. Wasted is like your bottom, that'll be number five. Wasted? Wasted number three, okay, but it's yeah. still the top five. Yeah. Well, right now number one is still flex. Just say for majority, I look good, number four, number five. What y'all think? Number five, all right. Yeah, it's in the top, put, ride my face, but put it in the top 10. What else? Anybody else got something that, Starting to bubble. That she never's in my top five. Hey. To that hey, who? She never. Bro. My tops is way different. That's because you different, different, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I know. But I'm because you be saying. dancing in the DJ booth. Yeah. You be DJing for yourself. Yeah. Word. 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 I'm just saying. Word. 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 I, I heard security came up there one time. They thought you was having a seizure. <laughs> you know, from the DeRose to the... Tradies, the uh, Lil Wheels, uh, the Fat Pimps. This kind of where, where DJs can get their bragging rights. Like if it's a song that you got and it's a hot song and you want to get credit for breaking that song, if you don't say nothing about it here and it starts bubbling, and it's like, ah, you didn't break that song. Now, let me tell you, let me know what you got. Flex, Flex is number one. I give Flex number one. Okay. <laughs> But the rest of that top five, I don't even play it no more because I'm done with it. My crowd program to a whole bunch of newer stuff. Well, talk to us. Let us know. Educators. 
Come on, you ain't saying you're just copy. Okay, right. fat, fat Pimp, he got too many songs. I can't even name how many. Shit. OJ the Juice Man, jumping in your leg. That's like one of the top top requested songs from people who come in there who, who fucking with me. Is that any of the songs that, that uh, Darkness got paid to say? I mean, that Darkness is playing. <laughs> Anybody else got, got them songs, need them songs, or anybody else, is it, is it working? Like, just say the GS boys with the stanky leg. Before it blew up, you know, amongst us, we were speaking on like, hey, that's a hot record. So we invited them down and kind of just let them know, hey, we're going to make this record a priority. Two weeks later, that record was on the radio. I mean, you got to love it. You got to have a passion, you know, to even make you want to play the back role and let somebody else take the front stage. If it's good music and it's a good reaction behind it, you know, we don't even tell the artists. We just do what we do because we feel that it's, you know what I'm saying, it's good music.